What's up everyone, it's Anthony with A Crew Gaming. Making sure my actual game screen is on, I've done that before. We are hanging out in Satisfactory. Uh, amazing game, if you haven't downloaded it, I would definitely recommend getting it from the Epic Games Store. It's still in early access, as you can see in the top corner there. Um, so they're still making changes to it, making tweaks, but it's a phenomenal game and they've added a ton of stuff to it. So right now, working on our weapons floor for lack of a better term, um, making these cool little explosive deals um, so we can blow up spiders and stuff and all kinds of shrubbery and pretty much decimate the uh, greenery in the planet uh, to make room for stuff. So, uh, And we need, we need them for something. Maybe we don't. Maybe I just needed black powder for something. I don't remember, but they're fun to have. Um, and we need to get the, black, the rifle and all kinds of other stuff going. So I've got uh, a little iron plant going on here too. Um, I've got the coal and sulfur over there making the black powder and that's all going into the storage. Um, in here is nothing. In here is iron rods and plates. I've got a billion of them <laughs> up top um, but they weren't very convenient. It was really easy just to grab these. There's a node like right out the door. Um, just right there. So two nodes, two impure nodes, plenty for what we need these for. Um, we are making those noblest deals. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is, but they're the explosives. So um, for those, we need beacons. For beacons, we need simple stuff, but we don't have it over here. Um, iron plate, iron rod, making those wire and cable. So I'm not gonna pull from a node of cable or wire because I have so much of it, it's ridiculous. I think I'm making 2100 per minute of the wire, and I haven't even amped up my um, miners or anything for my um, for my copper. So I've got a ridiculous amount of it, and this is all built pre-lifts. So you can see how insane all of this is. Um, I should have my frame rate showing. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter because it's not really running, but when this all runs, it kind of kind of really messes with the frame rates. But So I need to bring some of this over, but it's such a mess that it's difficult to do. So um, my goal is in this video to kind of show the effectiveness of these, LM, these lifts, uh, these conveyor lifts. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, right down here, um, mark, or I guess just the regular conveyor lift, Mark 2, Mark 3, and Mark 4. But like I said, this video, I'm going to clean all this up, all this, this whole area up here. So uh, up here, you'll see it's even worse. There's our computers. We're get, we got computers going. We got at least one big storage unit full. Um, I just let those run for a while. So here's the mess we've got to clean up. You can see just conveyors everywhere. None of it's running. I'm not gonna redo the storage units. Um, again, this is all built pre pre the big industrial storage units. You can kind of see them over there. Um, but there is like one point, almost 1.5 million spools of cable <laughs> in the storage area. So an insane amount. And I don't wanna move every single one of them. Um, so what I'm probably gonna end up doing is um, making six groups in the bottom of wire and bringing those up running one into the bottom section one into the second um, section of storage units and one into the third section and just linking them all together on the back side having an output down there so um, that's my plan we'll kind of see how it all how it all goes um, obviously the first step is going to be to to deconstruct everything um, but like I said clean all this up the first step is going to be deconstruction um, we'll take it all take it all apart sorry that was kind of loud um, but it sounds sweet <laughs> so <laughs> I like it uh, storing all my stuff here so that way I can I don't have a million little uh, little crates I may make another bin next to it in fact that's probably what I'm gonna do um, because I'm probably gonna fill this up oh except that I just put all the pipe and encased beams put all the materials to build it away. 
uh, so that I can store some of the stuff as I take it apart, so. Bam, 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 and then there we got our wire out of there, so. Like I said, the jetpack requires the fuel, so I'm going to definitely keep some fuel on me. I'll probably go get some more by the end of this, but, um, so, like I said, here goes. I don't know where I'm going to start. Uh, none of this is being used, so it's not like I can cut off the supply and <laughs> run all the belts out, so I'm just going to have to take them all apart. The only belts that are being used are actually down there. Um, and they're, and they're running down to, I guess they're running over to circuit boards. So, um, all right, well, here we go. It's kind of sad. This took a long time to run all the spaghetti, but we are gonna tear it down. side cleared out I love how easy it is to do this how much material is that not bad all right I think I am gonna be redoing the storage units I really didn't want to but I think in the long run it's gonna give me headaches if I don't so let's dump all this stuff again store all take my fuel let's see what happens here So I'll actually be able to get more storage this way. Um, see, this is kind of where I need to figure this out. Because one other way, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. One other way you can do it is, um, run it in this one and then you can go up to the next level on the back side with this one and that kind of fills the whole thing in but um does this move all of it what button is that is that control and click bam control click moves all of it over so that's helpful I don't think I can take three. Nope. So this will be kind of a slow process, but. And then in this one, I just want to make sure that it's opposite. And then control drag. What? There we go. But you can see kind of why I didn't want to do all the storage units too. All right, so what's that give me? That gives me it gives me two main inputs. Or I could do up to four inputs if I only wanted to do two outputs at the very end. Which I would rather not do. 
So if I go down here. So my belt, my best belt right now is 480. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six rows. And these are making 45 per minute. So what is that? Each each little pod section here is 180. So two two sections per belt, and I'll have a little, little bit of room. I think I can make this work. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna try to make it with two with just two belts, two belts that go up there. Oh, that's gonna make this like. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and get, um, I'll leave, leave these last four rows. I'm not gonna bring those up here. And I'll try to use those for something else. So. And then the cable in the middle will probably stay where it's at, but I may be able to bring it out a little bit, but we'll see. I may revamp that as well just because I'm up here doing it. Um, and then I'll probably cut some of this down and not uh, not be making as much cable because I'm not using very much of it. So, But that's what we're doing. That's what I'm gonna do in this, uh, like I said, for this whole video. Um, you can see that it's, uh, it's clean and I, what I'll do is I'll leave that half alone <laughs> and clean this half up. And then we'll uh, we'll come back and I'll show you kind of the result and kind of go from there. But it's like I said, it's it's going to make a huge difference. Just just knowing now that this whole mess is going to now be two belts instead of six per side. The five or six. One, two, three, four, five. It's so cluttered it's hard to count. So it's five belts per side. Um, we'll be down to two coming up here. <laughs> So, um, and then knowing what these conveyor, conveyor lips will do. So cool. Well, I'm going to, like I said, keep working on it and I will bring you back once we get it all, uh, cleaned up and cranking out. What's up everyone. I'm back and I've done some work. You'll be able to see here huge difference with the lips and without them. So there's the old style. I left that half completely undone. Here's the new style. So huge improvement with these new, and I did do the new storage units as well. Um, it just cleans it up and makes it much easier to get all of these done. So, um, but you can see the benefit of these higher tier, um, one, the higher tier belts, being able to get more stuff on one belt, and two, these conveyor lifts are <clears throat> massively better. So. Um, you can tell I'm wearing different clothes than I was in the first part of the video. <laughs> um, it's a totally different day. A um, little bit under the weather, so I'll do my best to uh, to talk as clearly as I can with a, with a sore throat, but we'll see. Um, so made all the changes up here. I still have some changes to make down there. I'm really I'm actually going to have to um, redo both sides in order to do one, and I'm going to have four of these coming up. But essentially, it'll be four items like this and I'll move that one forward as much as I can as well um, but four lifts versus that spaghetti over there um, basically brings all of this up so you can see how much easier it is to navigate this floor now um, just insanely insanely different insanely better I don't like I said those I wish they would have those out right away um, they will obviously if you if you get this uh, anytime from this point forward so um, trying to navigate through this mess impossible so it made this floor really uh, impossible to walk on um, it made it kind of difficult to get to the cable which is all in the middle um, so especially if you don't have a jetpack and you've got this kind of spaghetti mess so big 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 difference big improvement love the love the conveyor lifts um, they are amazing so uh, I'll show you down here and I increase the sensitivity on my mouse a little bit too um, I might turn it back down it's kind of crazy kind of makes it choppy um, I also found one more thing I don't know if you, I'm probably the only one that plays this and records and makes content for it that didn't know this but check this out 
the X button. Press X. All of your recipes <laughs> are right here. In this whole thing, like, bing, bing. So this whole time, I've been like making, like, how do I make modular frame frames? Well, let's make a constructor real quick and check the constructor. Now, I don't know when they added this. Probably the very, very beginning. I've probably had this the entire time, but literally, it's got all of the different recipes and everything right here. Um, so you don't need to uh, <laughs> build a constructor or anything like I've been doing this whole time. You just hit uh, hit X and it's got everything in here. It tells you how to make it all. So super cool. I just found it. If you've already known about it, well, congratulations. You should have told me about it. <laughs> I appreciate it. But uh, X right next to the right, right next to your map button, which is Z, should be Z unless unless you changed all your binds. So like I said, this. This is a huge difference. Um, and hey, if you want to make some cool cinematic shots, use a belt. I don't know how to get rid of the HUD and like the heads up display and all that stuff. Um, but if you're making recordings, this is a, a cool way to, to do it. You just have to throw a belt in here and you can go at whatever speed you want, depending on what belt you have in there and make a cool little video. So, but I am going to keep going. I'm going to get this other side cleaned up over here get it looking like this side uh, and then clean up the bottom and I will be back and I'll show you kind of what the finished product looks like um, so keep this in mind I'll have a picture of the uh, the first rendition of it versus the second rendition upstairs and downstairs as well so um, just pretty cool pretty cool to see what you can do now that we've got new uh, they're not really new they've been out in the game for a while but um, now that I'm actually utilizing some of the uh, some of the new things that they've that they've added in some of the updates so um, use the lifts, they make a huge difference, and they get rid of all the spaghetti. <laughs> I'll see you shortly once we uh, once we get the rest of it all done, and um, we'll take a look. And it's complete and looking beautiful, <laughs> much 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 better. Um, I actually just deleted uh, two <laughs> entire storage units full of. Uh, cable so that it would uh, so that everything would run so hopefully remember what it looked like um, I'll show some before and after um, shots of it but uh, conveyor lifts these large um, storage units make a huge difference as you can tell so um, definitely be using them if you're not um, it's just a huge difference between what what you can do with these compared to the old method of the uh, um, looping conveyors around. So we'll get on my little uh oh lag spike. Where am I? <laughs> get on my little uh, cinematic thing here. Let's see. I unlocked the new rifle, by the way, in case you didn't uh, notice. But you'll see the difference here. So I ran that from just from the regular storage over there. Instead of coming uh, up from the bottom, I just ran it from the storage. So that cleaned that up. Uh, computers are backing up. We're making lots of computers, and we got our weapons weapons floor completely done. Um, been doing a lot off uh, <laughs> off recording, just to try to get caught up a little bit so that we can uh, we can move on to. Um, some trains and some nuclear stuff so I've got I think I've got everything ready to do that um, so I'll be looking for that shortly here so but here you'll see the difference vastly 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 cleaned up you can walk I can drive through there Heck, I don't even need to walk through there anymore um, before you couldn't even get through there so and we'll look at the bottom too I clean that up as well but just awesome I love these conveyor lifts and I gotta delete all that, but just wanted a cool view of it. So, um, we'll come over here, just so get a grand view. So I had two rows of, I don't even know, five or six conveyors going up before, and now we've got uh, four rows, single rows, going up into the lifts. So clean that area up. It's still kind of kind of cluttered in the middle, just because there's so much going on, um, and I could have. 
um, condense these a little bit more using the overflow method but uh, didn't want to move all of these constructors when I'm and I'm making plenty it's 2100 or 2200 um, a minute is what I'm making as far as the wire goes so right now that's that's plenty um, I didn't even check my power because I have a lot of stuff running now <laughs> oh no so close oh, that's not good <laughs> Uh, this thing will shut off pretty soon because it'll fill up those bins fairly quickly. But uh, that is that was really close. I'm glad uh, I'm glad it uh, held up for the for the finale of the video. So um, and I don't remember if you remember again. I'll show some photos before and after. But with the new conveyors, with the higher tier conveyors, got this down to two belts. So and that's as fast as I'll need to run it. Um, these nodes are. I mean, they're. I guess I could crank these up here. Um, and not not use the other two nodes over there uh, or the other one node over there um, with the mark three can mark three miners so i could limit this down but it's still just going to be two belts so um two belts going in and this is coming from uh clear over on the plateau way over there where we started so um yeah much much cleaner much better um super happy with how it turned out um, and you can see, uh, I'm gonna make it nice. Um, just how much more space it gives you, how much, how much better it is. Uh, way less conveyors, so way less movement, um, and it should, uh, should, should help your frame rate quite a bit by using some of this stuff. Um, and we'll cruise over here, and you can kind of see. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. So this is the new method with all the conveyors. I'm right over here by my hub. Am I gonna make it? I wasn't going very fast. You can see how chaotic it gets with the old method with conveyors just everywhere. I haven't cleaned this up yet. So this side is gonna look fairly similar, um, except that I'm not gonna have three tiers because I'll probably just do the same thing as I did over there and put two double stacks on top of each other. But um, it just it makes a huge difference so uh, use the conveyor lifts right away you should have them tier one uh, you should have them pretty quickly um, I don't know when you get the big storage units uh, a, lot, a lot of this stuff just kind of came as it uh, as it was done um, since I started basically day one of early release so uh, I don't know when you get the large storage units on storage containers unlocked but I would create everything based on these and even wait until wait to get massive storage areas built until you get them because it, it makes a huge difference and I was originally thinking in the beginning part of the game like why would I use something that uses encased beams versus just regular regular um, iron products when I can just stack the two on top of each other uh, and when they originally came out they only had one input and one output so um, it wasn't really a benefit, but now that they have two, it, it's it's huge. So um, if you if you're gonna like I said, if you're planning a big base, a big build, wait on these uh, double double stack storage units until you get that tier unlocked before you start building all your storage because it does it's 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 not crazy difficult, but you'll see in that video in the video, um, I'll put some clips in there of, of kind of what you have to do in order to transition from double stacking those to um, to these bigger storage units if you build a big storage pot so um, weapons factory is done so I'm making the noblesks and the cartridges so plenty of ammunition plenty of awesomeness to go blow up a bunch of stuff um, and the new rifle is pretty sweet So, pretty awesome. <laughs> I should have unlocked it a long time ago, um, but I I vaulted my uh, I, I finally vaulted my uh, what was that thing spiked rebar gun. So it's uh, it's in a little uh, storage container over here. What I'll probably end up doing is building uh, putting a little storage container 
I guess that's down there. Those are computers. Uh, I really didn't think it was going to take the whole floor, but it, it took the whole floor. <laughs> that entire floor is all, there's nothing else being created there. That's all dedicated to these two storage units, um, with the noblest and the, uh, and the cartridges. So keep that in mind. I mean, if you're doing a multiplayer game, the, uh, the amount that you're going to need, you probably, you're probably good with that much space. Um, unless you wanted it spaced out a little bit more, but there's the, there's the storage unit with the spiked rebar gun vaulted, unfortunately. I love that thing. Um, but be ready for it. Like I said, it's, um, it, 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 it takes so much more space than you think it's going to take to build in this game. So your original factory, like I said, I thought that this factory was going to be more than big enough. And you can see I don't have anything for supercomputers, and I don't have... Um, I don't have trains unlocked, I don't have supercomputers being built, um, advanced electronics, I don't have the, what else do we need, high speed connectors, we need, there's a couple other things we need to be making, I know that there's stitched reinforced plates that we could be making, there's the high speed connectors, supercomputers, AI limiters, all of that stuff, I don't even have, I'm not even making those yet. Um, and we're really only making the computers like 14 an hour or something like that, if even that. So you can imagine going to supercomputers, how limiting that's going to be. Um, we've got these cranked up and we're making 14 per hour. So, um, so yeah, you need a, a much larger <laughs> scale than what I've created here. Um, which like I said, seems kind of insane to me. So. Hi, Nessa. <laughs> so yeah, like like I was saying, the game is the game is huge, and it's it's getting bigger. They're adding more and more stuff to it. Um, I need to unlock seven and eight so we can see kind of what else we need. Um, but there are more things too. Um, batteries. There's high speed. What are those things? I don't know, there's a couple more things that we need to be manufacturing too, and they're they're difficult to manufacture. All the stuff for um, nuclear power, um, we need to, I need to add, add that. Obviously, I'm probably gonna do all of that near uh, the, the uranium, uh, because it does radiate the whole area, so um, so that'll all be added. But I just don't think I have the, the width. <laughs> And obviously cleaning all this stuff up with the new conveyors, uh, conveyor lifts and all that stuff will, will add quite a bit more room. Um, but you can, I mean, even the, even the, like I said, the computers, um, all of that stuff in here, just not making them at a fast enough rate. And I don't have enough room to, to spread out and make them more. So, um, like I said, going to make a mega factory. I would like to get the trains going. And instead of running conveyors all the way around the world like I was planning on doing, I'm going to use the trains and make just a huge train station. Uh, still trying to decide if I'm going to centralize it or if I'm going to um, build it over here and then bring everything to me. So we will see. But like I said, if you're not using the, the conveyor lifts, the higher tier, upgrading your stuff, um, take the time to do it. It makes a huge difference. Um, not only just in the aesthetics and how your factory looks, but in how the game runs. Um, I really don't have any issues game gameplay wise, but if you're running into frame rate issues, um, cleaning this kind of stuff up and limiting that helps a ton. Uh, you could also wall these in. So if you had the big storage pods walled in, um, it wouldn't look real great. I like to see kind of everything moving, um, but if you if you close those off. Uh, I guess the conveyors, uh, that helps your frame rates too. So, um, but like I said, that's, uh, that's it for this video. We got this area all cleaned up. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video. Make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button down below, or the like button, and then subscribe. Um, I've got more content coming out and uh, revamping the channel a little bit. So uh, there's more to come. Have a good evening. Thanks, everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, and click the bell icon to get notified for every video my dad makes. Thank you for watching.